Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. It is April here in Oklahoma. We've made it to the woods. We are going on our third morel hunt of the year. Our first one, we had to move leaves to find them. Our second one, we did pretty well. And this one should be the best one yet. So stick around and let's see what we can find. We have Jace with us today. He's spread out. He's covering some wood somewhere over yonder. So um, help me spot some. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And let's go have some fun in the woods today and let's fill up our sacks. Let's go. Let me know where you're from if you're just joining. Or if you think I forgot, let me know where you're from. If you guys have any questions while we're in here, just let me know. If you don't know what a morel mushroom is, or even if you do, you should stick with us and learn something here real quick. I'm about to show you what a morel mushroom looks like. They are delicious. Aha! Here's a nice big one in here. Oh, right in the briars. We're gonna have to go in here and get him, guys. Ah. Okay. This would be the first one of the day right here. That is a morel mushroom i uh, cut them off with a pocket knife i just do like this right here whack and then there you go and you can tell that they're not poisonous they're hollow luckily he doesn't look like he has any ants inside or anything so there we go thank you here we go if you guys will help me keep count today if you guys will help me keep count but here's number one in the bag Bloop. and this is my third serious morel hunt of the year and I plan on finding way, way more than I did last time. Last time we found 200. Aha, here's a couple little guys right here. Try not to walk too fast. I know it probably, ow, these thorn bushes. I don't wanna make you guys sick, but these ones are a little older. Some probably some of the oldest ones I found that were still alive. Honestly, I don't even know if I should pick those. Those are borderline, Ugh. I'll, I'll pick them and we'll decide later if we eat them. There's three. I spy one. Do y'all see that one in the frame? We'll go chop him down. Let's go in on him here. Boy, I'm getting a little old looking. I'm sure we'll get a lot more fresh ones too. Number four. Oh, here's one under this tree hiding down in here. Mm. right here make sure i'm aiming at the right stuff whack he's uh kind of old but he's not as old as those last few that'll be a good one so number five i believe but here is another one i think i just said five. Oh, why do they love they love these briars i mean that's their favorite is these briar bushes Number six. I like it when I get about 20 or more mushrooms in my sack. It kind of makes the sack sit right. And it's easier to handle my sack. <laughs> my, my mushroom sack. Ah, dang it. I'm gonna have to cross this little fence and go through all these briars for possibly just one mushroom. Ugh. Come on now. Ow, boy, I come out of here shredded, guys. After <laughs> going through all these briar bushes. And I'm glad I'm not very allergic to poison ivy because it's really thick. Here we go. The last few days I've been not. I think that's number seven. That's a that's a nice one. Number seven in the bag. Number eight. At least there was two. At least I didn't cross the fence for only one. There's some little guys in here that I did not see. These are a lot more fresh. Can y'all see those down in there? Let me. Oh, well, there's one you can see pretty good. I have not seen any snakes, but you know. About two years ago here, we seen one of those uh, hognose snakes. Some people call them puff otters or something. They're not actually harmful, but they puff out their sides like a uh, cobra and they look scary. And uh, I caught him, of course. <laughs> I, what was that? Does anybody know? Was that number nine in the bag, I think? And this would be number 10 in the bag, I think. Remember you turn around and scan behind you. Yep, very true. Oh man, look, these guys are good at hiding. I almost just left this big daddy. What are you collecting? More L mushrooms. We're collecting these guys right here. They are delicious. They taste like, when you fry them, they taste like chicken fried steak, only a little better. But you can do so many things with them. You can put them on pizza. You can put them in a soup or a gravy. You can saute them. 
There's lots of other stuff you can do with them. I mostly fry them and do it every once in a while. We'll do them in butter and garlic over my fence. Ugh. Through the briar bushes. Check out the thorns on these things, guys. I don't know if it'll focus, but my goodness, that is not cool. What's the temperature? <clears throat> well, we had a low of 39 overnight. It's a little chilly, but um, when, when I woke up, when I got out here, it was around 40. I'm gonna say it's probably upper 40s right now. Yeah, guys, we're out here on a beautiful, beautiful spring morning, having a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys are able to join me. It's the highlights, basically and you know the the helpful tips and stuff like that aha uh -huh. see sometimes when you have to duck down to go under stuff that helps you so here we are here's a little here's a little patch of them guys so here we go you guys help me remember i think that's 13. so 13 14 15. 16. 17. Oh, here's another 18. But my wife, I was saying, I got distracted. My wife was getting mad at me because I jerked my head around too fast mushroom hunting. And she said she was getting sick watching me 19. <laughs> she was like, I'm getting dizzy. You're going to make me throw up watching the computer when we were watching it. She was wanting to find some that I missed to make me look bad, I'm sure. So there's 19. That's what I got in my hand that I just picked. Ground has a lot has to got to be around 50 55 yeah and lots of rain right in front 18 was another now see i don't know if some of y'all seen this i thought this is a mushroom at first but that's like a walnut or something but there is one up here that i'm gonna go pick and let me like you said scan from every direction right here see if we see any more oh yeah here we go so here's a beautiful little guy number 20 i think or was it 18 i don't know how many does this make in the sack dropping in right now? 19 or 20? That one. I guess I could go pick this one I seen over here. Where'd he go? I saw one over here. Oh, about stepped on him. Here he is. See, like you said, from different perspectives. Okay, 20 in the sack. Here's 21. Thank you, David. Use a net bag. I can't use a net bag. I find too many mushrooms and it ends up smashing them all down. 20. Now my, my oldest son's out here with me today. He's a uh, college age. Oklahoma, yep. Thanks for, thanks for the comments, guys. You know when I'm picking these mushrooms, sometimes I get distracted. So if you guys know the answers, yeah, thank you for answering them. 22, I think. These are these are nice, fresh ones. This is the ones I like. 23, these are blonde. So maybe we could call them blonde. 23, we're in Oklahoma. <clears throat> Central Oklahoma. Can't get too specific. Okay, is that 24, 25? Well, I live in Shawnee and I'm not terribly far from there within 30 minutes or so. So, uh, 24, 25, Delicious. I don't. This is what we got so far, guys. And this is what we're doing. If you're just joining, we're finding these morel mushrooms. We're, the bottom of our sack is almost full. Ow, goodness. You see these things? Those things are killing me. Ow. So, after the bottom of your sack gets full, the bag gets a lot easier to keep open. You can just toss them right in there. You keep having to open it up in the beginning all the time. It makes me makes me aggravated. I've noticed this year they're really liking to be growing out in this little green shrubbery. And I know I just passed one or two. Shawnee, yep, here we go, 26. Look at that pretty little guy. And here's 27. Gotta make sure I keep you all in the frame. 27. This little guy is struggling to come up. He is uh, kind of smashed there, but we'll get him out of there. 28 maybe, 29. Do y'all remember how many that was? What did I say, 27? Heck, I don't remember. Uh, no, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30 and call it a day? <laughs> okay, 29. Okay, here's 30 then. 31 what type of stuff are you looking for to find them in well let's see what we got here we got a little bit of oak leaves um this is an elm leaf i'm thinking they're growing from these elms indiana yeah we do need rain it crunches when you walk in here definitely does it crunches when you walk in here 
Gotta go get this big boy. There he is. Okay, uh, 32 maybe. 33. Oh, I actually missed cutting him down, but there's 33. Here is 34. We are picking these morel mushrooms out in Oklahoma. All up in this nasty stuff. I'm gonna have ticks all over me, but that's okay because it's fun. And here is 35. Woo! There we go. 31 or 32, 33, 34, 35. Hey from Oklahoma, I'm Nate Williams with Adrenaline Rush Adventures. We have a YouTube channel. Uh, Instagram and TikTok. We do mostly fishing, but this time of year we do do a lot of morel hunting. So there's number 36. We're at 36. 37. Uh, so I need to get out in Kentucky. Probably because in Oklahoma, the y'all are y'all are barely north of us on on latitude. So, but uh, I think that was. I don't know, 36? I don't remember. Okay, let me pop out of here for a second. Well, I know I'm gonna tell y'all a story and I know that most of y'all aren't gonna believe it, but my best day, I found 70 pounds. There's no way I was counting them all, but I did count a little bit. And around one tree, around one tree, um, I picked a thousand of these guys around one big dead cottonwood tree that had flipped over. Perfect, medium size, like perfect, perfect, perfect ones. It was in the rain. We picked 70 pounds that day, went back and picked like 60 more pounds the next day in Oklahoma. That was by far my best day. And we ended up selling some to, this guy came on and I think it was like 150 pounds or something he bought at once from three days of hunting. And uh, just me and, me and my brother picked them. I, actually, I think my brother only went one or two of the days. I was there all three days, but can you overpick? 70 pounds, very impressive. Thank you. Yeah, uh, there's some debate on that, but I've never noticed you can overpick. Uh, I've I've been picking some of these. There's like two or three of these spots that were actually my grandfather's. He passed away about seven years ago, but he uh, he hunted them for 70 years, or at least you know 50 since he was an adult at the very least. And then I've been hunting them, you know, an extra 10 years. I was hunting them with him for 10 to 20 years, so they what is this stuff guys is this bamboo do y'all know what do you what do you guys call this kind of grass that kind of clumps together we call it monkey grass but i don't know if that's actually what it is but i think this is bamboo oh, right here steubenville ohio hey hey from oklahoma i hope they get up there quick for you guys and hope y'all get big sackfuls for here we go here we go i was poking my head this way and i wasn't seeing this little guy and i feel like he probably has a friend so 37-ish, Hernando, Mississippi. When's the best time to cultivate? In Mississippi, you better get out there now or it'll be too late if you're gonna go looking for them. People really haven't found out how to farm these. That's why they are so sought after. The only way you can really get them is to forage for them. What's it's that? called pumpus grass. Oh, thank you, M much appreciated. I don't know if, is there such a thing as monkey grass? Am I misidentifying it? Or is that just something some people around here call it? How do I Never know? pull the root. That's that's kind of the, the tree I'm, I've am i set on, but but I'm not gonna tell somebody they're wrong the other way because I don't know for sure. And my son, like I was saying earlier, my son's out here with me somewhere. I don't know if he's got into a mess or what because I have not heard from him in a while. Okay guys, don't forget we're hunting these moral mushrooms. Give me a second, we'll get back on them. I know we're dwindling down a little bit, but I can promise you before we leave these woods today, this sack will be overflowing. Get back on there. Good thing I checked though, because we're gonna have to bring you all this video. So what number are we at guys? I believe we're at 83 or 84, is that right? Are we at 83 or 84? 87. Oh, these three make 87. Okay, yeah, so 84, 85, 86, 87. Wow, those are, I like it when they're clustered. Hey, what's the most you have ever, yeah, I need a clicker like an umpire. What's the most you have ever seen in uh, one clump? The most I have seen, I've seen it twice. Mine, mine are tied. I found 27 growing out of one stem before, 27. You see how those three were clumped together? 
there were 27 growing out of one base and it i have pictures of it i'll try to post it on facebook or something but that was several years ago people had cut down so 88 people had cut down some trees to make power lines and they cut them off right at the base and these must and they'd cut down some big trees like 20 of them or more and these things were growing like crazy so there's 89 i think man 90 hey thanks for the follows guys we're down to 525 people watching but we're up to 26.3k likes 91 maybe 92 where are you at we're in oklahoma 92 93 wow look at them i see them going back that way i hope we stay in them like this all day we're gonna be so tired but we're gonna have a lot of mushrooms 94 how do i order um if you find my wife on facebook you can send her a message miley williams and my facebook is nathan wayne williams 95 96 maybe that about right guys you guys since i don't have a clicker 95 96 oh mm -hmm. 97 making you jealous yeah you might as well 97 ray charles could find those yeah we call him ray charles kind who is that that's somebody i know that's somebody from the memorial board we always call them Ray Charles kind on there. That's the kind we like. 99. One time, guys, I found so many. Wow, again with the paper bag. I know. That's why I find so many is because I know what I'm doing. So that's 99. And here is number 100. 100, 101, 102. Man, those are perfect, good shape ones. 103, I think. But look at this. I haven't seen them like this in a few years. This is kind of exciting. Look at here. Before I start picking, let me just pan around for you guys for a second. I missed one. I, I really believe that, but we'll go back for him. I'll go double check. I'm just too excited right now. Look at these. Man, big, huge yellows, pretty much every direction. Thanks for the follows. Click follow if you wanna be out in the mushroom woods with us some more. We're gonna go live on some noodling videos too. But here we go, 27.2K likes. What number are we at? 103, okay, here we go, 104. I'm gonna have to follow. Ken, Ken's been right on the money every time. 105 can he keep he's been keeping me he's been keeping me straight 106 107 gosh i get my hands to, oh no i'm gonna have to take them back to my bag my hands are getting too full 108 109 110 111 man that one had that one had spider webs on him or something get off of there 112 113 you know jace has a uh, an outdoor channel too on tiktok and youtube if you get a chance check out off the dock outdoors yep. he, he might have a little bit of mushroom stuff on there he, he's been doing a lot of spoonbill fishing and he's got some noodle and stuff on there Oh man, I lost count again. I started talking. 114 maybe. 115. 116. I want to find them like this just once in your life. I know it's not right, is it? 117. But to be fair, I do go out, you know, seven times with crappy hunts. 118 or more a year. And it's not always this plentiful. Sometimes to find this many, I have to hike through a, a lot of woods, cover a lot more ground. There we go. The battery's changed and we are back recording with the GoPro. Just in case anything exciting happens, I wanted it to be ready. Have we found any yet? Yeah, we're on 137. 
these guys have some of these guys have been with me every step of the way jace may be back on the trail i don't know we're gonna go back towards jace and see what he's got going on yeah my my son's out here with us he has a sack about the same size as mine i probably got a couple more but they're very similar actually sometimes guys around these beaver trees that have been cut down in the light oh here they are when i was just about to tell you around those beaver trees sometimes you can get into them and here he is okay so i'm gonna say that's probably 138 and we're the worst part is when you come across one like that and he doesn't have a buddy but usually he's a clue to send in you in the right direction so that's optimistic i feel like we're either about to get back into a patch aha looky over here looky over here ouch here's number 139 maybe on this we call this snake grass i don't know what y'all call it i walked by one. Oh, i probably did i'm gonna walk back and see but here let me grab number 140 real quick number 140 any signs of bigfoot not much not really see ya papa c here we go though number 140 it's hard for me to keep up 149 all right so here's man you you made it thank you ken we had a long we had a long dry spell didn't we but we're back on them now and that is a big one man 150 151 okay 151 152 154 yeah thank you guys hey thanks for the bunny ears miley what you been up to today we're at 154 in our sack jace has a similar amount in his sack here we go 157 ouch goodness hey i got a cake thank you miley much appreciated okay guys we just shut down our live like 10 seconds ago and i was almost waited till we came to this tree with the missing bark that i saw but i was like no it'll be another false alarm and sure enough should have waited because this would be number 160 and number 161 for those people who've been waiting so long we've been in a dry spell 161 all right guys i just picked number 200 i was running a little low on uh, storage and stuff so I haven't showed everything but I'm at number 200 what I'm going to try to do here I'm going to try to take this sack out of this sack because we are running out of storage gosh she can't take much more cotton okay so here we go we are going to stash them in the shade nice cool area almost like a cellar i'm gonna hide them there hopefully no one finds them i'm gonna take this little sacky and we're gonna go sack up another 200. hey guys it just stripped on me hope the bird didn't crap on me it's been about five minutes since we stashed our other sack and here we go what looks like number one for our new sack right here okay just spotted a big pretty one over here Let's see if you guys can get eyes on it pretty quick oh there's more than one at least two. Oh man look at these beautiful freshies kind of hiding out in this grass it's okay though we'll chop them down one two all right guys i got out here I decided to take this little clearing just because I was tired of walking through the thick woods. We would got off of them for a second and I'll be dang right out in this little clearing. Let's see what we got. This is pretty crazy. I found my first one like right here. I picked him. I see the camera on. What is he here? We got another little guy. That's about 15 in the new sack, 16. So 217 basically is what that means. 
So here's a little freshie up in here. 18, I think. Here we go. I just spotted a few under these cedars. So I crawled in here to cut them down. Whack them. That's like uh, 219, 220 maybe. You never know how many you're going to get into under here. Could be only the five or six I saw. Twenty-three, maybe twenty-four. All right, let me get off here. Someone's calling. I see another one over there. Man, these ones are a little older. I'll probably have to eat them myself. Two thirty. They'll be all right though. Two thirty-one. Two thirty-two. Two thirty-three. Look on the edge of these, I found some little fresh ones right here, but I haven't went on that side. Okay guys, we're up to 270. We're here on the side of a hill. It's a pretty awkward spot to find more hills. 271. Ah, I gotta quit jerking my head so fast. Miley's gonna get mad at me. So 272. Two seventy-three. Some of them have been big, pretty guys though. Two seventy-four. All right, guys, we're on down the road a bit. Here's two seventy-six. These ones are camo, but there's quite a bit of them. Hopefully, you can see this. Two seventy-seven. <clears throat> two seventy-eight. 279, 280. Oh, you hear someone walk past. 281, 282, 283. These are beautiful fresh ones though. I like it when they're this fresh. 283. Ah. Uh, it's quite a bit over here, Jace. I said I'm finding quite a bit. 285. I'm finding a lot. <coughs> yeah, I am. 286. Boy, what a long day. These are beautiful. 287. You almost wish they'd get a little bigger, but I don't know if they're going to make it with the hot, dry weather we're having. 278. Or 288, 289. 290. Oh man, they're camo. <sighs> 291. Ah. <sighs> 292. 293. For as small as they are, they're already a little dry. 293. Ah. 294. 295, 296, 297, in the grass, 298, see another one over there in the grass, 299, and you sir, our lucky number, 300. Oh. Okay. Old orangey, you'll be 301. Oops. 302. 303. Uh, 304. 305. 305. More congregated back over here by this grass. 306, 307, we got a bunch of elm leaves on the ground here, 308, 309, 
My eyes are trying to go fuzzy on me. <sighs> Three ten though. Three eleven. Three eleven. Oh, did it show you what you're looking at? Yeah, you can see me real good. So now what do you see? Do you see almost my feet? Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, we're out here in this pompous grass and cedars. It's kind of a weird place to find mushroom, but I already picked about 20 out here. And looky here, this one's a nice fresh little guy. And what I got excited about, I was like, I gotta turn the GoPro back on. So what is that Jace, 412? Yep. Okay, we're on 412 in my two sacks. 413. 414, 415, 416, 417, 418, 419. Such a weird spot, it's so dry out here. You wouldn't even think mushrooms would want to grow. 419, 420, 421, 422, 423. <laughs> Some of them's hiding in the grass. Look at this guy. 424. Oh, dropped him. Ugh. 425. 426. 427. Sheesh. 428. Crawling on my hands and knees. 429. Look at this little guy down here. 430. My sack's about had it. What's that I said? Did I say 4.30? I'm losing my mind down here. I need water. I need food. Ugh. Oh, I accidentally put my hand on him. Oh, well, we'll put you in there. 4.31, 4.32. I murdered another one. 4.32. Mm. 4.33, 4.40, 34, 4.30. Five. Any more out this way or just this way? <sighs> oh. Mm. Ah. Gotta quit all this grunting like an old man. 436. 437. Uh oh, I don't think I showed you all that one, but 437. Oh, here's a here's a couple nice ones. Four thirty-eight, four thirty-nine. I'm like so hungry and thirsty. I'm starting to get a headache. We've been out here since early in the a.m. That's for sure. Is this not a peculiar place to be finding lots of mushrooms? See, looky, here's another one. Four forty. Hell, he disappeared on me walking up. Well, they got some good camo, don't they? Oh yeah, here he is. See, look, man, I'm looking from down. He looks like the cedar, but from the side, you can see it. So it's good to step back away from the tree sometimes. Oh, look at those big goldies, Jace. Is he the only one? Okay. There's another one up here. 441. No, 442. Jace's sack. He was too rough on one of his sacks, and he's down to using his hat now, if y'all will notice. I told him to tie his hoodie arms up and put him in his hoodie. I've had to do that before in a pinch, but he's being stubborn. Hey guys, we are out here still trucking along. I got over 400 I've got in my bag. What, what it was the last count I said earlier? 430 something? 448. 448, so 450, because you just put 449 in for me. 450. Oh. 451. We are out of gas. We're out of sacks. We got to stop and pick up a sack we left. Two. Two sacks we left. Oh, look. Somebody's toy truck. All right, guys. We are running low on storage. We're running low on battery, and we're about to call it a day, but this is 453. Beautiful little guy. Well, not a little guy, a beautiful big guy. They're coming out in these rocks. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ain't this crazy? Look at this big guy come out of this rock. And this big guy come out of this rock. Uh, wait, 454, I think that was. 
455. Come on. 454, 455. Oops, get out of the frame there, buddy. 456. Beautiful big yellows. We are tired and thirsty, and we are about to call it a day. We're on our second sack each. Our sack's about headed. 457. 458. But we're trying to keep, you know, keep going. 459. 460. Wow, there's some big ones. 461. Four sixty-two. Uh huh. That's the big guy. Four sixty-three. Four sixty-four. I don't even know if I'm shooting what I'm supposed to be shooting. Kind of tilted down a little. Four sixty-five. Well, I like it when they're this yellow color. They're hard to miss. I'm sure I could do it though. So there's 465. Ah, there is some hiding down there under the leaves. So crazy. Okay, let's go. 466. Four sixty-seven. They're hiding, boy. They're hiding. Four. 68. I hope I'm shooting at this. 468. There's one down in here. 469. 470. You know what? I better Let's see if we can get to 500. Was that 470 or 471? Okay. Well, 471. Four seventy-two, four seventy-three, four seventy-four, yeah, four seventy-five. Four seventy-six. Four seventy-seven. Four seventy-eight. Oh, my eyes are getting tired. Four seventy-eight. That's all I see. No, it's not either. Four seventy-nine. I'm gonna click this off to save some battery in case we I think we're gonna get to 500. I hope y'all are able to go with me. 479. All right, we'll be back with you in a bit. Here we go, guys. Popped up out the ditch where I told Jace to walk, but he didn't listen. Here we go, 480, 481, 482, 482. Walk right past this guy, 483. Ugh. 484. I know I've seen at least one more over this way. 484. Yeah, here's one. 485. Four eighty six, four eighty seven. Aha, hiding on this side of the tree, are you? Four eighty eight. Where's your buddies? Hey, four eighty eight. Aha, four eighty nine. 
Oh wow, these are camo, but 490. 491. 492. Here's one. Here's one. 493 494 495 I'm dropping them there's too many in my hands 495 Try to do the old shirt pull up thing 495 any more buddies? I think that was the end of them that way. I seen one or two more back this way. Yeah. 496. 496. Ow, in the eye with a branch. Okay, we're on 496, guys. Aha! Little guy. Look at that guy growing out of the uh, little wood stuff. That's weird. 497. This I'll go ahead and walk through this way. So this would be 498. 498. Had to put them in my shirt because my bag's getting bad. Here we go. Oh no! Well, got them mostly in there. So there is 498 in the bag. Four minutes left of storage. Okay, we got four minutes to find two more. I see one. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. 499. This little fella is. This little fella is $4.99. No way. I got to $4.99. And I have to stop there. Aha. Here is lucky number 500. Here he is. He's a little bit away from his friends. But he's here. Weird guy. He's bent over. Let's see. There is number 500. So... We've got 500 today. Jay's probably got 400 of his own. We'll count them up for y'all and let you know in the total later. And I'll keep my eyes open. Here's one more, 501. Um, I'll keep my eyes open walking out. Obviously, if I see any more walking out, I'm gonna put them in my sack, but we've got the 501. We need to go eat. We got a premiere at six o'clock. We're hungry though. We are thirsty, so. And not to mention, we have two minutes left of storage anyway, so we'll save that two minutes for something spectacular. You never know when a cougar is going to run up on you or something crazy. <laughs> so we'll keep that last two minutes storage. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, let's take one last. No, you know what? I'm going to check back in when I get back to my other stack and show you guys the, all the sacks combined. There you go, 501, and we got to get walking. This is where we left our shrooms earlier. We're crossing our fingers, they're still there. Oh yeah, they kept good in there. Perfect. It's like a little cellar. Yeah. That's heavy. I'd say that's 12 pounds at least. All right, let's go to the truck, Jay. Uh, so we're finally back to... Ah! My mushrooms. We're finally back. We're finally back to where we left one of our sacks. <clears throat> Now we've got all of our whole collection of our hunt from today. And I'd say we did pretty good. I know when I'm carrying my sack, it's heavy as crap. It's like uh, those two have got to be at least six pounds each. So I'm going to say we got probably about 20 pounds here today. Um, I'll weigh them when we get home. Jace, look at that. We both walked by that. Where? Pointing straight at it over in the... 
Oh, I, it's funny how this way. Look! Oh, wow. You see more? Yeah, that I didn't see over there. Okay, number 50. Since I turned the camera off back there where we were where, where I said we got to 501, I found one stray one and then I found a group of four. So I was at 506. We just found one by where we left our sacks. 507. He's a little dry. Jace pick that one real quick and then we'll call it in. Now we're at 508 and we're gonna be at about a thousand mushrooms today. 508 for me, Jace has a really similar amount. So we've got about a thousand mushrooms today, somewhere around 20 pounds. And hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. I will see you guys next time. All right, guys, we've made it back to the house. We got a bite to eat, we got something to drink, and we are gonna weigh our mushrooms and see how much we found. The scale is zeroed out. Here is my last sack, I believe it was. Six pounds, six pounds basically. Okay, and here's Jason's sack. We, we combined, he, he's got a little extra from his hat one. Seven pounds, four ounces. And then here's my first sack of the day. Seven pounds and 12 ounces. So, pretty good day of hunting mushrooms. We're going to put them all out on the table, take us a picture real quick to post on Facebook and the gram. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on our next adventure.